Chief Meteorologist John Ziegler. All right, we have seen some rain. We talked about it earlier in the show that the drought monitor was reported one day before the actual rain, so they might take the extreme drought off because that is it's very easy to get out of a short term extreme drought. Um, this is a short term drought, summer long term. Short term, you can eliminate very quickly. We just need rain. Uh, long term can take years, so that's good news. But yes, this was expected. I mean, when you looked at it uh, a couple months ago, we were dealing with no rain. We had no drought and we kind of anticipated this was going to be a very dry period. I was hoping it didn't get this extreme, but I do think we could change this. We have some cooler air coming in. Maybe we could start getting some rain showers also to start showing up out there. But uh, again, we are looking at how much rain we saw yesterday and we did pick up one to three. Now, if you saw the extreme drought and then you mat match it right on here, well, Dane County is the extreme drought. Now, there are some areas like Baraboo or Sauk City that did, didn't get anything, but most of Madison saw one to three inches, which was huge. We need another two or three of these, maybe four. But if we look more local, this is how much rain fell. It was, again, very localized. Brooklyn saw the most, so Oregon, Brooklyn area, 1.82. DeForest also came in at 1.82. Middleton, 1.77, so a lot of the Madison area came in over one. See, Wanakee saw one, but Westport saw two. So, again, same town almost. You get to Madison, 0.46. I live three miles from the airport. I saw two. Airport saw 0.5. So that's what I mean when it's very localized on how much you saw. So if you saw a big thunderstorm, I bet you got one or two. Beautiful day, 78 degrees, dew points, 52. North winds at 10. This is where, I mean, in July, how many places can be in the 70s? Very few. Most places are in the triple digits. What a day. 78, 82 in Janesville. You 71, 69. This is the main story. There's no moisture. When you have no moisture out there, you take out all the dew point. You have nothing. You can't have rain. You can't barely have clouds. And tomorrow I'm going to drive in rain. But when you drive it over dry air like this, typically it underperforms. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. But you have 40s for dew points. And in July, that's about as low as you're going. 70s where we at where we were at yesterday. So talking about that, we have clear skies now. Tomorrow, perfect start to the day. First half of the day, unbelievable. Then the clouds come in. These are going to be dying storms from stronger storms out west. So these come in. It's going to be rain. What I expect when you're coming, because I talked about how dry it is right now. It looks when I mean underperform underperform. It looks good. So tomorrow, if you just looked at radar, you'd be like, it's going to pour. Eh, it's probably going to sprinkle or light rain because it's so dry right now. So it's going to, it's, it looks worse than it probably is. But yeah, it could rain a little bit tomorrow night and then we'll clear out. Saturday's looking great. Models are doing a decent job. How much rain through Saturday morning? 0.04 to 0.1. So it doesn't really matter how much rain, if it rains or not rains, it's not going to be a lot. Temperatures tonight, open up the windows. 40s possible. Camp Douglas, 48. Madison, right around 51. I'm going to go 52 tonight. Mostly clear. Much, much cooler night as we go into tomorrow. 79 degrees, sunny, then increasing clouds. Then we have that chance for maybe a shower. It'd be great if we could get a thunderstorm out of this, but still uh, more unlikely. Uh, 89, we go to Monday, so we will warm things up. Those are hit or miss storms. I am looking at next Wednesday as the next real chance for rain. So we have to wait seven days from our rain uh, to get to another chance of rain. I don't know much about how grass grows, but I want it to be green again. Like, is it's, that even possible at this point? Yeah, the grass I mean, is yeah, so dead. Yeah, you think dead. it'll just be dead the whole. Gonna yeah. have to paint it. That's <laughs> <laughs> what so they do in the desert. You know it what is. I mean? yeah. It's true. They just paint it up. All right, thank you, Johnny. Well, a police.